work-life balance well the first thing I want to say is it's 5 a.m. I've got up to have a cup of tea which is getting cold now um, because here in Spain you got mosquitoes and you're gonna go oh yeah but Philippines have mosquitoes yes they do but they're much more annoying in Spain although I've got a couple of bites what happens is these mosquitoes are they're much bigger than they are in the Philippines and you can hear them buzzing they're like right up in your ear so although you're getting bitten and like oh, the next thing is you get oh, so it's like okay I'm getting up because when you switch the light on they all, they're, they're not so proactive um, so that's like well now I'm up I might as well have a cup of tea and I'll do a video so work-life balance work-life balance is a bit of a nightmare at the moment because I do the school runs school runs are breaking my day up too much because what happens is I get the kids to school for nine uh, so I'm up about eight o'clock Kid, kids ready on the in our little bus off to school nine o'clock then Mondays was like I will go shopping do the shopping come back to the house have a cup of tea go and pick Ubi up from school for lunch at past 12 then back to the house then Ubi's home for a few hours wanting to play etc uh, disrupting me working <laughs> then taking back to school for three for three o'clock then pick them back up at half past four so you can see trying to fit my work in there is near impossible at the minute uh, but then in the evenings because the kids are home they want to spend time with you so <laughs> it's like I, I sort of give up in the, in the Philippines you see what happens is we have people uh, to take the kids to school because we we have a big um, Pajero 4x4 the predominantly is just for the school and and my father-in-law likes to take the kids to school because that's you know that's his thing you know for being the um, the grandfather thing is spending time with the kids so he deals with the school run because he likes doing it but the then if I spend time with the kids in the Philippines it also means that I work during the night when it's cooler and quiet but then I'm finding here in Spain I can't work at night because I can't sleep during the day because I have the school runs because in the Philippines what happens is I work till say four in the morning sleep the kids go to school and whatever come back from school and I get up about 12 o'clock so they have the evenings with me and the afternoons with me but here in, in Spain I can't sleep I can't work so it's disrupting me in different ways so the work-life balance can be a bit of a problem if working from home would it be easier for me to go to the office where Gordon is the answer is no because I still have to do the school run it's too far for April to walk I mean it's, it's a approximately three and a half minute drive from our house to the school but this that's on a dual track I'm doing I'm doing about 80 kilometers an hour for most of that journey um, so it's not walkable if I cycle it because I've cycled it a few times now it, it takes about 30 minutes on the bike so it gives you an idea of how far it is so it's too far for April to go and pick the kids up etc which is yeah, I say it's frustrating but then I can't complain I'm away too much Because when I'm working away, I'm gone for months. So it's sort of like frustrating because you're like, okay, you know, I still need to get work done, but at the same time, I've been away for months, so I can't really complain. So it's like, what do you do? But it's affected productivity quite severely, and this is where I'm sat here thinking about how am I going to fix this um, there's no easy way of doing it so I'm still thinking <laughs> thanks for watching